Welcome back to the basement. All right, already. Um, I can't really advise any kind of strategies in this area. People, um, that old man was not fucking around. He is literally, um, let's say the place is littered with traps. And this is where you're gonna have to check your, uh, spatial coordination. Because, as you can see, the walls are pushing each other. Um, or the walls are getting close to each other. Just squishing whatever is in the way. Um, and that counts for both you and the enemies. So, Wisp and my turnaround technique is not going to work all the time because when I'm doing my giant swing technique, I'm stuck in one position. Now, you want to look at which um, part of the wall is closing in first or else. <laughs> Luckily, I, I'm doing a good job at evading those, but you want to watch out. Uh, the room may cross, crisscross or whatever. The room may even fake you out like this. And this is one of the worst spot you can be, uh, the middle of the room. Because you are going to get attacked, and uh, there will, the room is going to try to change position. So... This is a dangerous spot. This is quite dangerous. This is... This is... Very, very dangerous. Um, and I didn't have any other place to throw that enemy. Uh, you want to watch out because even though this is allowing you access um, up or down, you... Uh, it's... It's really difficult to explain, you know. The place is gonna close on itself, and it's the toughest thing you'll ever have to um, face. I mean, look at that. I can't see shit with this camera, but that's because the entire environment is against me. Um, and a thing I'd advise is do like what I did. Um, if you can use Geyser. Geyser will keep enemies in place, and if they are uh, positioned near uh, one of those walls, then boom, you get squished enemies right there. Or, uh, I think decoy is also a good weapon you could use. Um, but, yeah, this area is a piece of shit. Um, it's a real piece of shit, because you're getting attacked from all sides. And right now, I'm trying to deal with troubles, uh, trying to deal with the enemies, trying to deal with the environment, trying to deal with the camera. The camera's not really helping at times. Um, and there I go with Gauntlet, which is never... Okay, I'm not going to say it's never a good idea, but right now I could have used Mummy to get myself some uh, HP back. It's a big risk. It's a big, big, big risk. I didn't even expect Metatron to uh, come and play, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't risk it. And this is something that kind of pissed me off. I couldn't get to the next, or I couldn't lock off uh, before... Well, I didn't even know what the hell the lock... The um, lock off command was. Um... I don't know when I started to learn that command. Lock off. Oh well, at this point, I know I learned it soon. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit uh, messed over. It's 1 in the morning, alright guys? <laughs> but, um, yes, I didn't use the lock off command, so I was forced to destroy these guys. And you gotta, again, be careful of the wall. Um, I really can't advise on much. Try decoy, try uh, geyser. Make sure that they, the enemy comes to you. Or um, find some kind of a cheap strategy. I mean, Wisp kind of works, but you don't want to get stuck between those uh, walls. You know, it's the worst thing you'll ever do. And I have faint memories of me five years ago 
raging over this area because it was such a pain in the ass. See, right there, too dangerous. I I was spinning well oh shit. See, these guys up here and there's this <laughs> there's a yellow ball that you know those yellow balls generating enemy and the wall is just going everywhere and then more enemies and at this point I'm like what do I do? Um I even thought about taking a halberd. I was wondering Okay, Albert is gonna give me a straight up damage run. Uh, maybe, you know what, decoy because there's too many people. I can't deal with that many people. Um, and decoy kind of left me to deal some damage to the uh, enemy generator right there. Uh, that gave me a breeder because uh, in these kinds of area, it's a real mindfuck. Um, it's a massive mindfuck, even right now. Reanalyzing what I went through is a pain in the ass. That and I sound like I have a flu, but I don't. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe I should take some hauls. But yeah, this entire area is kind of a mindfuck. Well programmed. Well fought. Kojima. You've confused me. And then you go deeper in the basement, which means more trouble. Much more trouble. You know what, guys? I might as well take a haul. Take some hauls right now, on camera, while this is going on. No, fortunately. Old man, I'm glad to see you're still a dedicated scientist, but it's not good for your health. It's merely the result of pursuing ultimate performance. But not only me, Noman is just the same. Noman? He is even more eager than I am. Noman is not the man you used to know. Anubis is so powerful now. I need your cooperation to resist Anubis. Anubis has a definite superiority. Anubis can compress space, and by using its reactive force, it can move at sublight speed. The Urenbeck catapult. That's right. It's just the same as the Urenbeck catapults built on Deimos and Phobos. When compressed space returns to its former state, it produces an enormous reactive force. That makes it possible for Anubis to move so fast. The best technologies of Metatron combine to make Anubis almost perfect hmm. don't be pessimistic Jehuti also has the same abilities the performance of these two bodies is even just like twins but to match Anubis Jehuti lacks one thing a program to bring out the full performance of Jehuti if we get it can we defeat Anubis that depends on the skill of the runner no problem then give me the program now just as I thought, <laughs> you are trying to revolt against Norman. Revolt? No, I'll just fight. I cannot give you the program. What? If you want it, fight me first. I said I have no time to play with. No, I have another reason. I am in a different position from you. I have pledged my loyalty to Baram. I cannot betray them. You still cannot betray such an evil force. It doesn't matter now. I can't go easy on you. Neither can I. Show me your best. Alright, guys. Oh, hey, before I forget, sorry if I do not answer messages on time. Remember, I always take that one time of the month. This is the power of or inherit. two Even months with Jehuti, to answer everything. It won't be easy. Dingo, this is my home. You can only take it by force. Motion cap robot. Prepare yourself, Dingo. Ken, hold on tight. So yeah, I'll eventually answer everyone. Don't don't worry too much about it. Now, this phase is a bit of a um, mindfuck at first. 
I had no idea what I had to do. I thought I could just cheap him out long distance, put some decoys to lure him away, but it's a boss. Uh, there's always somewhat of a trick to him. Here I am. And basically his whole shtick is you have to chase him around and then take him out. Um, meaning you have to chase him around, hit him until he's until he reveals himself because right now at times he will not fully reveal himself. He's going to try to hit you from another side and at that point you just have to either block or dodge and then hit him back so that you hit his real form. Quite a tricky boss. Um, and I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. Um, to a certain extent. I mean, I didn't fully remember what I had to do to fight him. And I slowly pick up on his whole gist after going, well, I tried using most of my uh, most of my moves. I just don't seem to have anything else but to hit him. And also a thing you might want to do is keep a thing you want to do is keep uh, keep your mummy because if you get hit by those little uh, homing things you will need to regenerate. And you can evade some of this guy's combos. He's not that um, high tech when it comes to CQC, so if he throws these homing beacons, you can either dodge him or slash him out, uh, but I don't fully understand the whole... I don't fully understand their hit detections, because sometimes they'll just wait in front of you, and then they'll follow you, and then they'll wait right in front of you, and I'm just going, what the hell? Um, I guess you can slash them all out. Sometimes they'll attack you. I think catch up with me. Block those. So um, hell, use them for sub weapon regeneration. And yeah, I am taking that pause. See, right now he's fighting me, so you can actually deal some damage. Um, evade those little combos and just hit hit him with a knock knockback attack. You know where you just dash and then strike right after. It's kind of like a dodge dash strike. Love it. It's a combo. <laughs> Doesn't even need any super bar. It's a Jehuti combo. So right now I'm actually understanding how I have to fight him. So uh, the only thing that's kind of screwing around with my head is those little things. I'm still wondering, what are they? Um, so... Yeah, chase him around. Uh, aside from that, yeah, there is an EX mission file. This should come useful for what I want to show you um, in the new game plus. I think. I have to get more info on that. Oh, and have you guys seen Killzone 3? 8.5 out of 10. Uh, the only shit part, well, not really shit part, is... Um, there is no online co-op. But, oh well. Multiplayer is back. I can be a suicide terrorist again. <laughs> um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Well, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go too far on a tangent, but Marvel vs. Capcom 3, regular controls are back. You even get easy control, but it's balanced out. So if you play characters like Dante, you don't get your 40 moves, you only get like maybe 4 or 10 moves. Which, you know, kind of pushes people to play the advanced mode instead of spamming buttons. Uh, you also get something that's called a mode against rage quitter. If they rage quit too much, they're going to be stuck into a rage quit quitter lobby and they can kind of redeem themselves. Anyway, back to the fight. As you can see, these little homing beacons can actually hit you. Uh, they don't just stop in front of you. I don't fully understand what they do. Uh, shooting them is an option as well, but I just don't get what they do. And they even beat my decoy. Uh, see, 
kind of weird. This is a uh, very, very unorthodox boss. Because, I mean, right now, he's basically running away, leaving what I could just describe as mines, and then he shoots out only beacons at you. Um, it's really weird, but I like how fast-paced it is. And I look back at it, this really looked like some kind of a, a speeded-up version of a boss fight, but this is actually real-time. You know, the, the game rolls at such a speed. I've rarely seen such speed. I mean, this kind of feels like playing Vanquish, but without the bullet time. Lovely. Um, and even when I'm, you know, when I'm fighting this boss, I, uh, I always keep in mind I can use Mummy if I'm low on HP and I have enough sub weapon because I'll be shielded. See, right now, he's Where running away. Running. And I'm like, get the fuck over here. <laughs> I can't just wisp, you know, um, use wisp on him for him to get back here. Uh, it's just really jarring. This boss is like a, a test of your endurance. See, right now, using Mummy, alright, got a part of my HP back. He's throwing a lot of shit out. It, it's kind of like playing a, a weird bullet hell shooter. Except the boss actually runs around instead of saying, staying in the middle of the screen, you know? Uh, and if you want to see bullet hell shooter, there is Shihime Sama or Dudon Pachi, or Death Smile for Xbox. Oh! Oh, what's up, man? What's up? I hit you too bad? <laughs> well done, Dingo! But how will you deal with this? Lights out, Daredevil style. Damn, I can't see anything, Ada. I can recognize enemy position, but I cannot visualize the target and its attack. I need a clue, anything. All right, I will navigate the distance between you and the target, and its patterns of attack as well. Only your voice can help me. Roger. This Missiles approaching. is Please annoying. Defend. F mine approaches. Please evade it. This is annoying. Defend. When they tell you to defend. Enemy approaching. You fucking defend. When they tell you to evade, you evade. Uh, I, from what I can recall, you can't block those F mines. They're like the fuck you mines that are like, screw you, you are hit. Lock on to the target. Distance to the and a um, little trick for this. Eight. You can dash Defend. until the countdown gets to six. Step to the um, right. And then start doing your defensive and evasive right. thing. Defend. Now the thing with those F mines or F bombs or Distance whatever the is they hit you Six, for a lot of five, damage. Step to the right. um, so you, step to the when right. they say step to the right, step to the right. To the when they enemy. say defend, Three, two, defend. Um, this is just getting nuts. This is the most heated part of this boss battle. And I hate it to death. Um, and I am not cutting shit out. I want you, I want you guys to see how hardcore this thing yeah. is. See, he just pops it out of nowhere. Uh, sometimes he starts going into this flurry of attacks, and there, oh shit, he just pops up. And be careful, guys. Uh, the computer will trick you. Sometimes they'll say, all right, uh, evade, or no, sometimes they'll say, all right, you're getting near the enemy, the and the it enemy. goes on to countdown, Eight, three, seven, two, one, oh, watch out! Defense. See, that Step kind of stuff. And you really have Step to be to precise right. with your step to the right, step to the left. To the this this feels like Parappa the Raptor. 
can see right now, I tried to gut punch them with a few homing missiles before I actually enter the battle. But this guy's shielding like a punk. Um, I'd say use your shield as well. Uh, if you do one two hit combos, use your shield and then counter attack. Oh shit. See? It's out of nowhere. It tells me to step to the left. After telling me to step to the right like the the last twentieth times. God damn it, this guy he just don't he just doesn't want to fight you head to head. See, right now he left some kind of a decoy bomb and that gave me damage. Step to the right. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Oh crap! Step to the right. <laughs> Such a punk, I hate him. So much hate, right? Oh, left. Oh, left. Oh, what? Defend. Oh, what? Distance to the enemy. Okay. See, you gotta be careful. Oh crap! See, they tricked. Oh shit! Ah! Crap! See, they try to trick you during that approaching distance. So, your best bet is basically just dash like crazy and then if you get to five um slow down lock on to the target distance to the enemy see right now distance to the enemy i'm trying to Nine, gain to a right. bit of energy but Defend. it's difficult Defend. very difficult step to the right oh step wow to the right. and at distance one point the enemy. Seven, they six, just drop five. a bomb on me Defend. Step to the right. Defend. Defend. To defense. Distance to the enemy. Two. Distance to the enemy. Approaching. Enemy approaching. Take him out. See, the game is going to fuck me over in the worst way I've if possibly imagined during this boss battle. And I did not remember that from five years ago. Step to the right. Right? Evade. Evade. What? Right. Left. What the fuck? Game just fucked me over. See you Not next enough, video. Dingo. Hey, answer me, fuck dingo. you, game. <laughs> oh, hell. Fuck you, Inherit. Don't die, Dingo.